Hello, so I got another unboxing to do. This is something I just received from Amazon today. Uh, this is actually for my uh, pond right back here. Uh, that's why I'm out here unboxing it here. Uh, I did get it a little bit later than what I wanted. Uh, so basically I'm doing this a little bit later than I wanted. So it's kind of dark right now being winter. Uh, it starts getting dark around five or six now. So I put out my light and decided to do the unboxing here. So I don't know how this is gonna end up on screen, but I'm gonna open this up and show you what I received. Um, basically this is something to uh, replace something in here that I kinda wanna see if I can get something better in here. Um, I don't know if you can see the waterfall right there from the water pump. It, it's not as it's not as fast as I want it to go. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna react. The one thing I do worry about, this thing on the uh, water filter is Basically, if the water pump is too strong, it might overflow it, uh, which is why I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this one out. Uh, which, what this is, this is a water pump. Uh, pull it out. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, this is a Heiger. Uh, it's a bottom intake water pump, submersible. Um, uh, basically, what this one is, this is a 900 gallon per hour one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 925 gallons per hour. Uh, the one I have in there right now is um, probably somewhere between four to five hundred. Um, let me just go ahead and open this up and show you what I got here. Um, so just a matter of just opening this box up and pulling it out. So instructions, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, plastic wrapper, not going to worry about that. Okay, so I got the water pump out. Uh, this is fully submersible, although it does, from what I've read, I'll have to double check on it, but you should be able to actually have it partially submersed as well if you want to run it that way. Uh, this is good if you're, you want it on um, basically a low intake. Um, basically, that's what this is mainly for. I primarily bought it because it was inexpensive for me at the time, and it's a little bit uh, more on the uh, gallons per hour, uh, which is 900 as opposed to like four to 500. Um, basically you got the water pump and it also comes with the little barbs and also rubber feet on the bottom uh, which is in this bag. Uh, take that out. Which I mean you have these which I might not need uh, because basically the one that's on the pump right now should just screw into the water pump all the same. Uh, so I will probably be using these rubber grommets just to lift up the uh, pump a little bit. Uh, I'm going to set these off to the side. I could always use these at another for another project. Um, so I'm going to put the feet on. I primarily probably don't even need these feet on here, but like I said, it raises it up a little bit. Because um, basically you do have the uh, intakes on the bottom as well. You have two side ones. Uh, so let me go ahead and do the feet. Okay. Now we'll put links down on the description down below on how to find this uh, pump. So let me go ahead and get this uh, taken care of and remove the old one and put the new one in. So let me go ahead and do that. First I need, need to turn off that. Okay, so I got the pump shut off on this pond. Uh, so let me go ahead and remove the old one. Uh, let me actually start with unplugging it first. Uh, basically get this which is basically my little thing I did just to get, keep water out of the um, plug system. That way I don't have to cock it or anything. Uh, basically it's just some pipes which easily just kind of come apart and get fed through. So that I can sit off to the side right there. And let me pull this plug off from the old pump to be replaced with a new pump. Okay. So basically there's that. Uh, now I can remove the old pump. Oh boy, slimy, slimy, slimy. Okay, I'm just gonna unscrew this and see if I could just replace it by just screwing, by screwing that in. Okay, almost there. plug doesn't get in the way. One downside of this uh, pump, uh, it gets slimy inside the pond, <laughs> which is probably normal. Okay, now to see if 
this will actually screw on to the new pump without needing to change out the thing, which I'm guessing it will, and it should, and it does. So, no need to use the new ones. Just a matter of just screwing the pipe in here and try not to pull too hard to mess up my piping in this pond. Okay. Okay. That should definitely do it. And go ahead and unravel the plug a little bit. First things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just do a little trial run and see how that works. I don't want to completely get it going and find out that it's just too much flow. So let me put this back where it belongs. Uh, need to clean out this pond a little bit more later. And let me go ahead and plug this into the plug and turn it on carefully not to put my wet hands on wet stuff and I need to fix that later now. So uh, I'm gonna have to feed this up out a little. Okay. Let's see how well this pump does. Go ahead and connect the plugs here. And then just need to go plug in the pump on the wall. Doki. So pumps running. Should be filling up the uh, filter, and let me see if it does what I'm hoping it does, and it doesn't overflow too much. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the filter just so I can take a view on in, on the inside. Okay, so the water level is rising inside the filter. Uh, as you can see, some of it's already draining in there. Hopefully this is more than uh, the previous pump. But otherwise, I'm just gonna return it because it doesn't give me any improvement. Um, let me see how it goes. Just need to give it some time to skip, get, get some flow in here, so. Okay, so I got the pump running. I got it all set in there. Uh, I think it does give me a little bit better flow, so I'm probably going to go with this one. Um, not that the old one was bad. Uh, I just I, I wanted more flow going through the filter. Hopefully the filter out. And I also do like the form factor on this pump as well, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, once again, this is the it's the Heiger bottom intake water pump, which is this is the 925 gallon per hour one. They do make them in other, um, other speeds. I guess you want to call it... Uh, pump strength, I, I, whatever you want to call it. But uh, anyways, um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, anyways, as usual, keep researching, keep learning. And if you do like this video, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button. 